so I just, I'm just going to be checking in with you guys every day that I can because I don't, nothing's going on. Like, literally, I did absolutely nothing today. So, I don't really have that much to talk about. But, um, my little Bella girl isn't feeling well today. Why do you like sitting there so long? Come, come show your face. No, wonderful girl. Wonderful girl. Oh, wonderful girl. Yeah, so she's not feeling well. Um, I'm still uh, not able to like move my mouth as much as I thought I would be able to. Like this side is fine, but I'm having trouble smiling on this side. But um. <sighs> what else? Oh, um, so I watch like a bazillion TV shows and movies. I want to talk to you guys about them. Um, but I have to write them all down because a lot of them I don't remember. Because, like, the beginning of the month, like, when my face was all swollen and stuff, I don't really remember a lot of that. Um, like, I don't even remember going to the dentist at all. I mean, I did go, but I just, like, don't remember where it was or what it looked like. I was just so out of it. Um, but. I've been catching up on House. I stopped watching it for a while. <laughs> I want to put Bella down, but she's comfortable. So, you're kind of making things awkward. Can I just put you down? Um... But the one that I wanted to talk to you guys about was a show called Orphan Black. Yeah. Um, my sister-in-law suggested it to me, and I loved it. So I watched that. Um, hmm. I've been catching up on House. I think I said that. And I cannot keep a string of thoughts to save my life. I was not feeling well. My mouth isn't moving. I don't know what I can say here. Do I remember Bella? Hmm? At least I can say her na say her name now. Bell. These are hard for me. She's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I'm trying to think of some other movies and stuff I've been watching. Um, has anybody watched Scandal? I heard it's really, really good, but, um, I don't know. I don't know what it's about. Kind of like Blacklist to me. Like, everybody talked about how good it was, but, like, I really had no idea what it was about. So, I was like, mm, I don't know, watch this. And I started watching it because I got desperate to watch shows, and I was like, now I'm obsessed with it. Like, I love it so much. Um, I started watching Homeland, but... It's kind of your belly. Hey, honey, I'm going to put you down. No, I don't want to scratch your belly. Look what she's doing right now. Okay, Mom, we have the belly that's itchy right here. Okay, I'll scratch your belly. Anywho, um, yeah, but it's kind of, like, depressing. I don't know. I think because, like, I'm already in a depressed state. Sorry, you can't even, like, see my face, but. Yeah, let's push it down. There we go. Uh, yeah, so I watched a couple episodes. It's really good. It's just, I don't know if I, like, necessarily want to watch it when I'm, you know, like, not feeling very well and kind of, like, depressed anyways. But, um, I don't think I told you guys this yesterday, but I was telling you how my mood's been really, like, agitated lately. Um, but last night, there was a dog, uh, we have new neighbors, and they have a dog, and it's like a, I forget, it's a weird combination of dogs, like a shepherd beagle or something. It's a really weird combination. I haven't seen him or met him or anything yet, but, um, right outside my window, like, across that way is, okay, I'm, like, pointing over here, and you guys can't even see my hands. So, here's my bedroom. And the house next door is, like, right there. 
I guess that's how neighbors work, huh? But, like, in my mind, I think you guys will know what I'm talking about. Like, it's not the neighbors on the other side of the house. It's the neighbors right next to my window is what I meant to say. Oh, my gosh. I sound like such an idiot. Anyways, I, could, I wish I could say, like, I'm on drugs. But I don't even, I'm not even taking anything other than the antibiotics, which makes me so freaking sick. <sighs> but the dog was out there at, like, 11 or 11.30 midnight. And it was just barking nonstop. And I got so mad because it gave me such bad anxiety that I, like, well, I didn't run around the house because I can barely walk. But I went, looked for this um, flashlight. And in my mind, I'm thinking, um, put your shoes on, put a jacket on, and you're going to go over there and pound on the door like a cop. Like, boom, boom, boom. And be like, you need to stop your, like, I have, I just had oral surgery. I need to be sleeping and healing. Da, 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 da. Like, all these things were going through in my mind. And then I finally, like, got out there and I couldn't find the flashlight. And he, the dog was, like, right in between the houses outside. So, luckily I ran into him first because, really, that would be so horrible. I wouldn't even met the new neighbors. So, I was like, oh it's okay like quiet and like I was talking to the dog and then I was like oh like maybe it's maybe I should just go back inside <laughs> thank goodness because oh I was like I went to, I went to go get him a treat and then I was like well it's probably not a good idea that a give just a treat to a dog that it could be allergic to it or something and b I don't want to reward him for barking and then I don't remember what c was so I like, came outside and I was like exhausted just from walking out the front door and then like coming back in. And I was like, ah, oh, forget it. But then I was like, I'm so glad I didn't because I would have had to go over there today and apologize because that would have been so awful. Like all their lights are out in the house. So they ha would have had to have been sleeping. I don't know how they could sleep through their dog like howling, but um, Florida houses are like really weird. Like. I can't hear my my parents in their bedroom, but I can hear the neighbors in their bedroom. I I don't know how that makes any sense, but because the close houses are so close, it's like it's really weird. And because the neighbor that we had there before, she was like ninety years old or something, but. She always had her television on, like, super duper high. And, like, I could tell what was playing on her television just by, like, listening to it. Um, but, yeah, so that's my dog's story. I have no idea why I just told you guys that story. Probably because it's the only thing that's happened to me in, like, the past couple days. Um, but, uh, I was also talking to my um, parents because... Um, how to, I've been having, I get nightmares really bad when I am sick or in pain or, you know, just anything bad, anxiety. I have, like, no, I have anxiety dreams, but when I'm, like, sick or, like, going through something like this, like, I get really bad nightmares. And I already told you guys I've been kind of, like, depressed and, like, just anxious and not feeling right, especially since I've been taking my Lexapro, which I have no idea that could have nothing to do with it, but... Um, I had a dream last night that I got another chihuahua, which is, like, what I'm planning to do, um, because I don't, well, my friends as well want me to, too, because, like, Belle is my best friend, like, in the whole world, like, I love her so much, um, like, too much, and so if she were to pass and I didn't have an obligation, I, I'm worried about it. I know my family and friends are worried about it. So it's always kind of nice to have like another dog that you are attached to and like can take care of and stuff like that. Um, but I don't know. I don't like the whole idea because I want all my attention to be on Bella and I don't know. But we also have three other dogs, so it's like, whatever. But anyways, anyways, I'm trying to tell you the story. So, last night I had a nightmare that I got another chihuahua, which is not a nightmare. And it was really cute. It was like a little puppy, which is actually like not what I want. 
I'll probably end up getting a, a puppy just because, like, I'll probably buy from a breeder. But, um, hopefully God will just put one in my lap like he did with Bella that I can rescue. Um, and I would like him to be a little older, like Bella was three when I got her. Um, but anyways, so, I got her and, like, lately... I've been taking her out at night and in the afternoons, but in the morning I've just been letting her out of my room and my parents have been letting her out. So I think this is what like made me think this, but I got another chihuahua and then my parents passed away and I was sick or something, but for some reason I couldn't get out of bed and then I couldn't take the, animal, the dogs out and um, I couldn't feed them, and the freaking puppy starved to death. Like, it was so horrific. And so now I'm like, I don't know if I want to get another dog. But, I don't know if it's because, like, my birthday's coming up or what, but, like, I just have this, like, I think, I mean, obviously it's because I just went through this, like, traumatic experience with my surgery and, like, my face and stuff, but... Like, I really think, like, what would I have done in that situation if I didn't have my parents? Like, it's really scary. I think I need a savings account or something. <laughs> because, I don't know. It's, that's just really scary. I mean, but I'm so young. I don't want to be thinking about that. But So, do you see what this is doing to me? This is making me psychotic. And nightmares. And just the worst. And I get really sad because I love Christmas time. I love Christmas stuff. I actually really like Christmas in Florida because I my fibro is not as bad here as it is in North Carolina in the winter, and everything's super close here, so it's really fun to like go out and do little like you know Christmas shopping pre for presents. We go to this place called Fisherman's Village, or at least that's what I call it. Sometimes we call places different things. But, um, I think it's called Fisherman's Village. And I get, like, really cute little trinkets and stuff. And it's just really fun. I go with my parents. And, um, and everything's super close. So I can get, like, creative with, like, wrapping and decorating my room. And I don't know how long this, like, is going to be going on for. At least until my Annabelle. Because I know I won't be feeling really, like, up to myself until these antibiotics are over because antibiotics just kill me um so yeah i don't know what is your what is your guys's favorite decoration and you can't say tree but you can say you all you can say whatever you want really i mean i'm not like the police of the world but um uh, i'm smiling and laughing you just can't tell. Uh, but if it is a tree, tell me what ornament is your, specifically what ornament is your favorite or what, like, ornaments, like the glowy balls or the lights or, um, or if there's something around the house that you really like to decorate or, um, something like that. Because I love things like that, so. Um, yeah, so tell me in the comments down below, uh, what you guys think I you guys actually that's I don't know why I just said that just tell me what you know <laughs> is your favorite or list a bunch or it could be a like cookies or a particular pie or anything like Christmassy I guess what's your favorite or some of your favorites because I know it's hard for a lot of people to pick out but um I love you guys you guys are keeping me strong and I feel those prayers and those thoughts and just feeling the overwhelming support and encouragement from you guys is I don't know what I would do I don't know what I would have done in this situation without it honestly yeah I really don't so I really appreciate you guys um so I love you guys I hope you're having a pain free stress free day I am sending x double o's and as always hopefully I'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye